Hello and welcome to Angela McKenzie singing. So how am I going to help your singing today? Well today we're going to sing a song of joy. Yes that's right. They're still pretty um, dis distressing and depressing times at the moment because we're still all locked down in November 2020 and we need to kind of get that little boost and we need to get our singing mojo back so why not sing a song of joy. So what is this song of joy? Well it is the wonderful I could have danced all night from My Fair Lady. Oh what a super musical and it's such a lovely song. Um, at this point the reason she's feeling so joyful the character at this point Eliza, Eliza Doolittle has been and passed herself off as a lady at um, a very high class ball and she's had a super super time in fact she's had the best time of her entire life she's danced with princes she's just had the most wonderful time ever and she's come back home and she just is still buzzing and that's when she sings this song she just can't go to bed because she's just so full of happiness and joy. So that's what we're going to sing today. So from the point of view of who would normally sing this, obviously a, a lady would normally sing it. Um, it's a woman's song and it is a soprano song as well because it, it does lie quite high. However, um, there is, a, there is a, I've, I've accidentally found a low version which is a toned down to the um, original which mezzo-sopranos like me because I'm not a high singer as such um, it's much a nicer version but I'll try and we'll, we'll be doing it in the original version um, for all the sopranos out there and mezzos try your best you can do it you can do it um, with me um, as for the gentleman well there are some gentlemen's versions because I've having a little bit look a bit of a look um, to see who else has sung this song and Frank Sinatra has done a version of this song so you can have a look at this Frank Sinatra version Jamie Cullen has done uh, Cullen has done his own version of it as well um, so it's just such a lovely song that everybody wants to sing it no matter what their voice type and we lower female voices want to sing it as well so um, let's get going with it let's make sure that you're well hydrated first get your glass of water make sure it's to hand and let's begin okay i could have danced all night so i think we should just have a little bit of a sing through of the main um theme the main chorus the main phrase um and just have a little bit of a sing of that first because it's um it's the bit that we all know and it'll get us into the whole mood of the song. So let's just go for it. I'll just kind of um, get us in there a little bit before and I'm, I'm going to show you the intro in a moment but I just thought we'd have a little bit of a sing of the main thing first. So let's do it. <clears throat> happens is that bit is repeated and we're bunging a high note at the end so it seems simple um, and it generally is but let's have a look at the little bits that catch people out when they're singing this song so the first bit is the actual at the very beginning that we haven't done yet and it's the one that goes bed bed I couldn't go to bed my head's too light to try to set it down so I have a little look now the thing that um, kind of throw, throws people and this is even people that have sung it a lot because I used to sing it occasionally it wasn't really my voice type um, my soprano friends used to sing it more than than I did but occasionally I used to sing it um, and I actually have had <laughs> I did have one kind of um, embarrassing performance where I just didn't come in in time <laughs> so the pianist had to go back and play the intro again so let me show you why 
Listen to this. Bird, bird. So suddenly you're in straight away. Bird, bird. Da, 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 da. Bird, bird. I couldn't go to bird. So um, let me just put my little keyboard on which is slightly dreadful to listen to, but it's the one I can move around, okay? So I do apologise. So, bird, bird, I couldn't go to bird. So try that with me, are you ready? And, bird, bird, I couldn't go to bird. Now, for that bed bit, um, you need to be thinking, it can go a little bit back in your voice. Bird! And particularly if you've got to come in really quickly, it's bird, bird! It can go like that. So I want you to think a little bit of E in it. So I want you to go, um, E. Try that for me. E. Once more for luck. E. Now let's try with the proper words. Are you ready? And bird, bird, I couldn't go to bird. Okay, let's continue with the next bit. My head's too light to try to set it down. Try that. My head's too light to try to set it down. Now I want you to shape that down bit. So I want it to be, head's too light to try to set it down. Did you hear how I, I kind of um, shaped that a little bit? I started it light and I just built it a little bit just to build up the excitement and the tension. So try that for, uh, with me. In fact, let's do it with the track and see what happens. So with all those things in mind, have a little go. And remember, bird, as soon as you, as soon as I'm saying, right, let's have a go, be thinking, bird, bird, with a little bit of an E in it. Go, bird, go bead for me. Bead, again, bead. Now make it bed. Bird, and suddenly it's a bit easier, isn't it? Let's do it, folks, with the proper track. sleep sleep so sleep sleep I couldn't sleep tonight and then we've got this little scale going up Not for jewels in the crown. so make sure you get a breath there um, and be careful on um, sl oh, wait, wait. sleep 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 now in this song all the way through this is one of the things I'm going to say to you do not dig in on those bottom notes because you're always going to be going back up again. So, by that, this is what I mean. Sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight. Now, I kind of started digging in a little bit on that bottom note, so I found it hard to go up and it changed the tone of my voice. I don't know if you realise that. So, if I keep it very light, sleep, sleep, if you hear it on its own, it's not that rounder, chunkier note, but it doesn't have to be because you're going to move off it pretty quickly. So, sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight. Keep that very light night. But if you go night, it's really hard to get back up again. So, go do this with me. So, sleep, sleep, are you ready? And sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight. Not for all the jewels in the now, you will have noticed as well that I am smiling all the time. Now, there's two reasons for that. One of them is because she's full of joy, so unless you're smiling, nobody will believe you. Um, unless your face is lifted and smiling, um, you're not really putting across the, the joy that the character is feeling. Um, but the second reason is, folks, all this lightness that I keep saying I want to get at the bottom there and at the top as well, if you keep lifting everything, if you smile, and with that you're lifting these cheekbones here, and when you're lifting those cheekbones here, you are making space in your mouth um, and in your, all your resonating, resonating cav cavities in your head, you're making that space um, that makes it easier to keep that lovely bright sound. So those are the reasons for doing it. They're both really good reasons, aren't they? And it will really help you put across that song. And then we go straight into, I could have danced all night. Now, when we're doing this, folks, again, we're back to um, 
keeping it light at the beginning. I could have, ah, uh, it's very light down there. It's not I could have danced all night, which is kind of my voice is a little bit like that. And um, so I'm having to really lighten it. Sopranos, you'll have it pretty light anyway, but still be aware of not giving it too much to the bottom, otherwise you will struggle to go up. So I could have danced, your head, we're heading for all these lovely long notes every time. I could have danced all night. Do that with me. I could have danced all night. Again, I could have danced all night. Now, another little thing there. If you want to be clever and show off your fabulous breath control, you can do this. I could have danced all night breath. I could have danced all night and still have begged for more. Okay. <laughs> or most people do. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night breath and still have begged for more. Which does give you a little bit more control if you breathe there. Try both with me, folks. Try both because it, you might be surprised on how good you are with your breath because sometimes we don't realize and we take the easy option without trying to do the slightly harder option, which can be sound rather, um, I think it sounds smoother. I think it sounds better if you can do it, um, but sometimes you just might not be in the mood, so you'll need that breath. Let's try it, folks. Let's try it with this, um, with the track. So we won't do the bed bed, we'll go straight in. Are you ready with I could have danced? So the first one is, I'm still, don't breathe before I'm still at bed for more. So I could have danced all night, big breath. I could have danced all night and still have begged for more. So let's try that with me. I could have danced all night, now big breath. I could have danced all night and still have begged for more breath. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things I've never done before. So you can do that again if you want as well. It does make it harder, I've got to say, and you've got to be really aware of getting that breath in to do that, but it's fun, isn't it? It's fun to try. Um, but if you want to do it with the other, do it with the other one now and see how you feel about that, and I bet you'll prefer it. <laughs> I do really deep down. So let's do it, let's do it. So both those bits again, and um, try it now with the breath before and. So let's try it. Depends, it depends if you want to show off or not, or if you're feeling kind of really on form. Let's go for it. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have begged for more. Next bit. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things I've never done before. It's easier, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is and it still sounds good so pick it pick the one that you want to do so let's look at the next bit I'll never know what made it so exciting so if you notice what I'm doing there as well um we'll bring it back a little bit I'll never know what made it so exciting I'm using some of the words to build again build up this excitement I'll never know what made it so exciting so I've done a little bit on so and exciting I've round it, rounded that off. Why all at once my heart took flight. So of course you're gonna build that up a little bit. Then we've got another little bit coming up. Let's just do that bit. Are you ready? I'll never know what made it so exciting. Breath. And all at once my heart took flight. I just want to look at that I only know because sometimes when you're singing something on this you're singing um, I only know kind of f four syllables three words on the same note it can go a little bit 
So this is where we really need to be aware of joining it all together in one. Like it's all one word. I only know when he. So it's like it's all one word. And there's a lovely little exercise to you. Let me share this exercise with you. Um, it's my vowel exercises exercise. And it is so it's E A R O U. <laughs> and it's all joined together and seamlessly go from one to the other. E let's start a bit higher. E A O E A R O U. Try that with me. E A O. Next one. E A O. And another. E A O. E A O. E A O. E A O. Another one. E one in our boots. So that gives you, that will help you with that I only know. So do that with me. Again. So I only know. I only know when he began to die. So you're giving it a little bit on that la danced all night and then don't give it too much on that little bit at the end so we are getting there that is the song done except for that one bit at the end which i'm dreading to be quite honest because i am not a high voice so i have to really work to get this note at the end and it is a t it's a um it's a top G, so it's not that high, some would think, but it depends what you've done up to that and where you're coming from sometimes to how high a note feels in your voice and how long you've got to hold it on from, uh, for. So if you're a soprano, you might think, whoa, that's my favourite note, I can hold it on forever. But if you're a lower voice, it's a little bit harder. So let's just have a look at, we've got all this now, haven't we? It's all good. Let me just show you the intro into the next um, verse so you've got an idea of that. Um, and then we're going to skip right to the very end, do that top note, and then do it right from the beginning. Such fun. Let's do it. Oh, oh, night. So this is your little intro into the next bit. It's quicker than you think. Straight in, do you see what I mean? So let's do it again. They're all a little bit different. Sometimes there's quite a lot in between. But I think when you're singing this, you don't lose anything. I think you need to move it on pretty quickly. So let's have another look at that. Danced, danced all night. Are you ready? I could have danced all night. Have one more listen to that so that you're feeling confident about it. All night. Are you ready? I could have done stone, etc. And that takes you to the end. So you're doing it again. Again, what you're adding into that second verse is um, a little bit more animation. You're not doing too many different things. Some songs you want to do something really different the second time around. What people are waiting for, they just love the tune. They want your audience want to hear that tune again because they love it. Um, and then you're gonna kind of give them the big high note at the end and we're laughing. So let's have a little look. Or are we laughing? Let's have a see. So let's get to the end. So. Okay, let me go a little bit further back. So. just about do it at a push. Um, I used to be able to do it in my younger days, but it's quite hard. But for all you sopranos out there, I think you'll find it a lot easier. But the thing to remember is all night. And you just put a tiny bit of the on the end. It's like, it's night, more or less, rather than night. Otherwise, it's that little bit that gets you at the end. So, um, dun, 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 
the nice breath. Now, Kristen Chenoweth did the most fantastic top note, which I think was a top C. All night. Yes, I think it was a top C that she put in at the end there, which I was extremely impressed with. Sopranos, if you've got a top C and you can really put in that top one, oh, the audiences love you. So I can't do that, but if you can, all night. And then it's this one. What? Well, sorry, right at the top there, isn't it? That's the one. If you've got it, flaunt it. That's all I can say, Sopranos. So that's it. Let's go straight from the beginning and have a good old sing through. I want you to kind of get your faces engaged. I want you to really imagine that you are Eliza Doolittle. You have come back from the best night of your whole life and you're singing about it. Okay, let's start. Let's sing a song of joy. Are you ready? Remember, we're in really quickly. Get your smiles in place. You're stood there, ready to perform this. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to feel it within your body and you're going to be uplifted by the end of it. Let's go for it, folks. Bird, bed, I couldn't go to bed. My head still lied to try to set it down. I couldn't sleep tonight, not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night and still have begged for more. I could have spread my wings and done a everybody that got to the end and I hope you did a better note than me as well um, it was it's great fun isn't it don't you feel uplifted after that don't you feel joyful that's what it's all about um, I'll be doing another video next week on Angela McKenzie singing with something else and it might be I've got this in mind sing a song of defiance oh what can that be you will find out soon see you next week <laughs>